Hi, I'm Martin, and at the Malt Miller, not everything is about beer. You may have seen we've done videos about cider, wine. Well, we also like a good gin and tonic, but have you ever actually considered how much money you spend on premium tonic water in the supermarket? Well, in this video, I've got a solution for that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a keg of premium tonic water using the Still Spirits tonic water kit. So making these kits is really easy. Let's take a look inside the packet and see what you get. Inside you get tonic water flavoring, tonic water sweetener, tonic water citric acid, and tonic water preservative, and an instruction sheet to talk you through the steps. To make the tonic water kit, you're gonna need a few bits of equipment. First thing you're gonna need is a cleaned and sanitized corny keg, access to hot water, about 50 degrees C, possibly a jug if you can't get to the sink. So let me show you how easy it is to make this kit. Here I have a cleaned and sanitized 19 litre corny keg. Make sure that there's no pressure in there. Remove the lid. Then you're gonna fill it about half full with warm water about 50 degrees C. So now we've got our water in our keg. It's as simple as now adding the four sachets that come in the kit. So the instructions don't give us any particular order. So we're just gonna sanitize our scissors and then add the sachets into the keg. This one is citric acid. Tonic water flavoring. sweetener tonic water preservative so we've added sachets of the tonic water kit to the warm water in the keg we're now going to seal the keg up add a little bit of co2 to create some top pressure and then give it a shake. So we're just gonna add a small amount of top pressure. This will stop the lid from coming loose and us getting wet. So now we're just gonna give it a really good shake to mix all the ingredients up. Okay, so now we're just gonna depressurize it then top the keg up with cold water. Then we're gonna pop it in the fridge, let it cool down, and then we're gonna leave it connected to CO2 gas around about 15 to 20 PSI for about a week, and that should carbonate the whole keg. And in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier. So first thing we're gonna do, just gonna knock off the, any pressure that's in the keg itself, so we don't have liquid going up the gas line. We're then gonna attach the gas line and add some serving pressure on there. I'm just going to set that up to about 10 psi and then in terms of dispense i've actually got a tap on a short um, short shank but you could also be using a party tap you could be running it for your kegerator there's all different ways you could serve this Well, it's certainly nice and fizzy. It's also got a real nice lemony citrus flavor to it. Slight bitterness from the quinine. You know, you could actually believe that this is a premium bottle of tonic water that you're getting from the supermarket for a fraction of the price. Now, while drinking tonic water on its own is nice, it also goes much better with something like a gin. So let's give that a try as well. We're not in the business of teaching you how to make a gin and tonic, but I'm gonna make one the way I like it. So, good slice of lemon good glass of ice, good measure of gin. Now this one's about 46%. I'm just gonna to top that up with tonic water. I was to say, it's a classic gin and tonic using a London dry gin, which is about 46%. The citrus from the tonic water and the quinine, you know, it's a great cocktail. 
great alternative to beer, perfect for a hot sunny day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, just leave them below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on future updates. Cheers.